What is going on YouTube? This is Prepper Princess. I am the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. I hope you all enjoy my crazy bun hair day. Um, I decided to go all out and do just like nothing with my hair. Uh, pretty much just woke up and stuck it up in a bun. So one of the things that I see a lot on other YouTube channels is people show their cash stuffing envelopes. They show um, their sinking funds and they have like 20 different accounts. And uh, it's all it's it's very interesting to me um, how people have so many different accounts and everybody handles their finances differently. Um, one thing that you all know is, I mean, I've been saying it for years. I am debt free, mortgage free. I have zero, zero debt. Um, I do use credit cards, pay them off monthly, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I thought it might be interesting to go over how I handle my finances. Um, and this is coming from somebody who is in fact a millionaire, um, and is living a debt free life. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying it that, this is how somebody with that type of net worth um, handles their monthly income and outflow. So let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, this is a piece of paper. This is going to be, one of the things that I do is I write it down on a piece of paper. I do not use spreadsheets. I do not use uh, graphs or charts because when I write it down, I. I'm better, I'm just better at it. Um, when I when I do like charts and stuff like that, um, it, it just doesn't work for me. So doing it with a good old pen and paper is the way to go. Okay, so we've got the checking account. Checking, don't mind my bad handwriting. We've got savings. Rocky, stop. Jeez. Brokerage account. So this brokerage account includes all of my 401ks, my IRAs, Roth IRAs, and my traditional brokerage, the money that is not tax benefited, but it's still invested in stocks and stuff like that. Okay, so when I get paid, it's very simple. Um, it goes into my checking account, obviously. So I get paid on the, let's see, I get paid on the second, the fifth, the 8th, the 22nd, 28th, and 29th. So those are all of my different things. Do, 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 do. Now you might think that the first thing I do is save money. And this is something that I see, people always comment on my channel, but I see it on other channels as well. They're like, the first thing I do is I put money into savings. Well, here's the thing. My savings is fully funded. So if my savings is fully funded for emergencies, um, six to 12 months of living expenses, and it's whatever you're comfortable with. People say three to six months. Some people say a year's worth of savings, whatever it is. It's whatever you're comfortable with. So if my car blows up and I need to replace my car, here we go. If the dogs need to go to the vet, here we go. If I have an unscheduled dentist emergency, here we go. Um, if I have to do a copay on an emergency room, here you go. It's all in savings. And then I, you know, that this way I'm, I'm not, um, there are no emergencies. There are no unplanned emergencies because the, the plan is in my savings. It's already fully funded. So I don't automatically save money. That's not what I do. That's simply not what I do. Okay, so the fact that I use, this is my credit card. I use my credit card for everything. Now, Dave Ramsey and a lot of people say, don't use debt, don't use credit cards. Um, as an overall, overall of the state of the United States, I agree with that, overall because 80% of people live paycheck to paycheck, 80% of people have credit card debt and other debt. I am not one of those people. Um, I do not have debt. So I use my credit card to pay for um, everything from my utilities to my property taxes, to my grocery store, gas station, you name it. And I build up rewards points on my credit card and then I use those rewards points as free money or whatever. And people also say, you spend 17% more when you use your credit card. Well, I don't, I don't. I shop with a list um, and it's just my utilities and stuff like that. So um, the first thing I do when I get paid is I paid off my credit card. First thing. 
is I pay off the credit card down to a zero dollar balance, zero dollar balance. <clears throat> and because my savings is already fully funded, I don't have to add to savings, right? So the second thing I do is I give to charity. <laughs> This is any of my money from anything that comes from Amazon goes to charity. My book sales and um, stuff like that, it goes into a charity account. I, I, I don't wanna get into it, but it goes into a charity account. And then when I pass away, that charity account goes to a specific charity. And I'm hoping it'll be millions of dollars by the time uh, I pass away. This money is not touched. And then, um, Everything else just goes boom into my brokerage account, into my investments, uh, into saving. That's not saving. That's into um, assets that provide me with dividend income so that every year my dividend income increases. So every year I put money into my brokerage, my income increases. So one of the things with the savings, um, you, you can look online, but interest rates are high right now, and savings accounts are, are actually providing a decent interest rate right now. Right now, mine is at 3.9%. So I also make money off of my savings. You can be um, a broke person who spends your money, you, you pay money on interest, or you can make money on interest. I make money on interest. I have never paid interest on a credit card, at least in the last 20 plus years. Um, so this costs me absolutely nothing. I make 3.9% here. And here, the average historical return over the last 100 years is 10%. But I am now, instead of focusing on growth, I am focusing on my dividends so that I can create a passive, more passive income streams uh, from my rental property and from my brokerage account so that I can be sure that I not only retire early, but I completely retire. Actually, I am retired, but I re want to retire very, very comfortably. So if you ever get people asking, why don't you direct certain amounts towards savings? Because my savings is already, it's full. It's like, um, going into somebody's kitchen that is overflowing with food and asking them why don't you store more food that because there's there's it, it's a waste to store more food um say you've got like three years worth of supplies that you will not be able to eat and by the time you get to them they're expired and you gotta throw them away anyway yeah my money is better served going towards investments than it is towards savings because the savings account is already completely fully funded all right folks I hope that this video has been helpful. It's one of those things, uh, gotta put this at the top. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, even though I have a lot of finances, I like to keep things very simple um, and very minimal because I am a bit of a minimalist, not only in my regular life, but I'm also a financial minimalist. And that's pretty much just what this means. Keep it simple. Just keep it simple, stupid. And that's what I like to do. Um, and that's the way that I handle my finances on a monthly basis. All right, folks, I hope this video has been helpful and do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. Get a Rocky. Get a Rocky. Get him, Nala. Get him. Get him, Nala.